In this tutorial, I'm going to show you or prove to you that sine A plus sine B is not equal to the sine of A plus B. I will show you that sine A plus B is equal to sine B cosine A plus cosine B sine A. Something like that. Anyway, here we go. I'll be using some animation to show you that sine A plus sine B is not equal to the sine of A plus B. That, that blue plus that green is not equal to that big brown line right there. And I'll show you that. So imagine I have two triangles. I have a blue triangle with an angle of A and a green triangle with an angle of B. The hypotenuse of the blue triangle is H1. I'm using H for hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse of the green triangle is H2. Recall that sine theta is equal to the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. So I can write this as hypotenuse times sine theta is equal to the opposite side. By the way, that blue right there, opposite, that's the opposite side of the angle. So that's equal to H1, the hypotenuse, times sine of A. That's the length of the opposite side. For the green triangle, it's going to be H2. The opposite side is going to be H2 times sine of B. So let me rotate the green triangle and put it on top of the blue one like that. The lengths of the hypotenuses are the, still the same. That's H2 and H1. I'll make a triangle with the angle A plus B. brown triangle. Slide that to the right so you can see it a little easier like that. The length of the hypotenuse is H2. So the opposite side is H2 times the sine A plus B like that. So I need to determine the length of that dashed brown line and kind of divvy it up and the bottom part is the blue length right there and I know what that is so I need to determine the length of the green line right there to do that I need to make a triangle and my goal is to determine the length of this line right there and I'll need to know the angle that angle right there that blue angle I'll need to determine that I know that this brown angle and that brown angle are equal. We know that's a right triangle down there, and also this is a right triangle. The green one is a right triangle. So that angle must be A. Let me tell you how I know that. I know that A plus that angle right there plus that angle there which is 90 degrees. I know this all has to add up to 180 degrees. I know that those two angles are equal to each other. I know that that 90 degree angle is equal to the one before. And this all adds up to 180 as well. So therefore, that angle has to be equal to A. The length of the bottom part of that dotted line, or the blue line right there, we already know. And that's H1 sine A. The length of the green line is a little bit different. So let me draw in a triangle, the triangle back. The line we want to know, it's the adjacent to the angle A. And we already know the length of the hypotenuse side. And that's H2 sine B. Now recall, or maybe this would be the first time you ever saw it, cosine A is equal to the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. So I can write this as the hypotenuse times cosine A is equal to the adjacent side, which we want to know that side. The hypotenuse is H2 sine B. So I have H2 sine B times cosine A 
is equal to the adjacent side. And that is the side we're looking for. So the length of that dotted brown line is h2 sine b cosine a plus h1 sine a, something like this. Let me draw back in the angle ab and then that brown triangle too. This opposite side is equal to h2 sine b times cosine a plus h1 sine a. Sine theta is equal to the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. So sine a plus b, like that, that's theta. a plus b is equal to theta, just to be clear. So sine a plus b is equal to the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse, which is h2. So now I'm going to simplify this. I want to get rid of this h1. I want to put the h1 in terms of h2, actually. Cosine b is equal to the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. This gives me cosine b h1 divided by h2 or h2 times cosine b is equal to h1. Now I'm going to take this, I'm going to put it right up in the top equation, at h1, I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to replace h2 cosine b for that h1 when I rewrite it over. So now I have, I'll rewrite this over, I have h2 sine b times cosine a plus h2 times cosine b on all this times sine a divided by h2. Now I have h2 there, h2 in that part of the equation, and h2 here. And lo and behold, all the h2s cancel out. So I'm left with sine b times cosine a plus cosine b times sine a. And voila, that's it. And there you have it. This is a long proof for sine a plus b is equal to sine b cosine a plus cosine b times sine a. And sine a is plus sine b is equal to h1 times sine a plus h2 times sine b. So we're comparing these distances right there. So in the end, this is the bad boy we were looking for right there, that proof. As always, share the knowledge. Facebook, Google+, Twitter. Questions, comments, like the video. Subscribe to, make sure you subscribe to Trig Fun. Always posting new stuff.